Welcome to the New Indian Express. Today, the whole country is in a tizzy because of the economic impact of the COVID-19 pandemic and subsequent lockdowns. Perhaps the latest in a series of setbacks for several states is the contraction of the GDP. We've had news coming out that the GDP for Q1 has contracted by 23.9%, which like so many other things has been described as unprecedented. Uh, and something that has caused a lot of grief, especially for states in the south of India, is that the GST Council has decided that a lot of the compensation that states were hoping for to tide over this pandemic and the losses that they've suffered will not be forthcoming. To discuss this, we're very happy to have with us today uh, a panel of very, very eminent movers and shakers from the finance ministries of three South Indian states. We have with us uh, Mr. Harish Rav Garu, who is the finance minister of Telangana. He's somebody who's been very, very vocal about talking about what the GST Council should have done uh, he's also spoken about why states need to step up and ask for what is due to them. We also have with us Mr. T.M. Thomas Isaac, who's a very popular economist. He's a professor. He's also the finance minister of Kerala. And he's somebody who's been talking about why the finance ministry needs to step up at a time like this and do so much more for us. From across the aisle in BJP rule Karnataka, we decided to reach out to Mr. Basavaraj Bamai, who is the home minister and also holds the independent portfolio of finance. What he thinks about the GST compensation, about why BJP states have not really stepped up and spoken out about what's happening and how they're planning to tide over this crisis. We have with us Mr. G.S. Vasu, the editor of the New Indian Express, who will take this conversation forward and attempt to find out what the center needs to do so that the states don't feel like they've been shortchanged in this situation. Thank you, Mr. Harish, uh, for joining us. States like Karnataka, as also those aligned with the center, say this is a time when the center and the states have to fight together to overcome the current economic crisis. As you would perhaps know, the state has opted for option one. What exactly is the objection of uh, the non-BJP ruled states in so far as opting either for the first option or the second option? Vasudharu, it is not the time, either center or state. We are not fighting each together, each other. The issue is both center and states together, we should think how to improve the economy. Just said that minus 23.9 is the GDP, just day before yesterday they have declared, which is going even further down. So in the present situation, both center and states, we should think how to improve the economy, how to revive the economy. Otherwise, things will be even worse in the future. In CST, if you see, Telangana is supposed to get 5,604 crores, whereas we got only uh, 1,957 crores. In CST implementation, Telangana lost around 3,800 crores. When the GST formation council was made and when the discussions were happening, we very strongly raised it at the time only. So, they, they assured at the time. Now, in the present scenario, the center must deliver its commitment. Well, if it is legally not there, technically you want to tell something, morally you have the full responsibility. And during COVID, otherwise also, for Telangana, states like Telangana, a growing state, we are losing heavily. Uh, before GST formation, Telangana used to have around 22.5 growth rate in VAT. Our growth rate was 22.5, highest in the country. Yes. So of course, in the interest of the national interest, one, one nation, one taxation, and we thought the industrialization will come, country will grow. In the interest of the country, we joined GST with a clear-cut assurance that an act is made, 100% compensation will be given. It is not that center losing. Both states are also because of COVID, because of continuously economy slowdown. States' revenues are also gone down. So in this junction, now center should come out positively. So instead of option one, option two, and putting all these uh, conditions, see in option two, there is no option at all. In the last hour meeting also, I told. In option two, what they did, uh, in, under Atmanibar, they have given 2% of additional funds to the states, uh, additional provision to the states uh, under FRBM. So again, they linked in the option two, whether your GST compensation is more or your 1% uh, of FRBM is more, whichever is higher they are going to give. 
a state like Telangana, both are same. In option two, you are not getting anything more. Two things are uh, we can we, 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 are able, we are able to understand. One is the people who are having money are trying to put in savings. They are putting in banks. So how the situation will come? People who are having money because of the uncertainty, because of the economy growing slowdown. So they are waiting. They are they are putting their money in the bank. Mr. Mr. Harish, just a minute. If I can bring in Dr. Isaac and you know uh, finish the reply to the first question. I was asking Mr. Harish Rao regarding the stance taken by Karnataka as also states which are aligned with the center. You know, uh, in the sense they have preferred option one, saying that this is a time for center and states to fight together to overcome the current economic crisis. Uh, how do you respond to that? I cannot agree to sacrificing any portion of the GST compensation because the law is very, very clear on that. It's true, it's stated the law suffer in the implementation of GST. So the argument that is put forward is that Yes, we will send the government says we will compensate for uh, the law suffered in the implementation of GST, but COVID is not due to implementation of GST. It's an act of God. Therefore, that has to be separated. Now, it's legally untenable. Uh, for example, Section 7 of compensation law clearly lays down how this compensation is to be calculated. A protected revenue level by 14% growth. Your actual collection and the gap has to be compensated every two months. There is no reference to any distinction between act of God or humans or nature or nothing. And option one, central government promises to make good only 97,000 crores of rupees of the 2.3 lakh crore rupees. Rest of it they are willing to increase by 0.5%. Now, look, for example, the northeastern states, they do not need uh, much uh, compensation at all. There are surplus states, in fact. Um, just like Dr. Rao said, uh, the, the Telangana fight, some was doing pretty well in terms of GST collection in the beginning, but now they need compensation. There are states where compensation level is 40 50 percent. So now, what is the sense meaning in allowing everybody to have, uh, borrow up to 0.5 percent of the GDP? That whenever there is surplus in the compensation fund, it goes to the consolidator fund of India. Whenever there is, say, undistributed IGSP, it is at times it is more than one lakh crore rupees, it goes into the public account of government of India. And therefore, now there is a deficit. The symmetry was told. The central government shops will support. This is not a dead burden here. Yeah? This is self liquidating. After three years, it's gone. It's not a dead burden at all. At this stage, uh, let me bring in Mr. Basaraj Bomai, the Home Minister of Karnataka, who also holds the additional portfolio of finance and has represented the state at the meetings of the GST Council on more than one occasion. Uh, Mr. Bomai, Karnataka has, uh, in fact, claimed that uh, it did reasonably well despite the pandemic, uh, mopping up uh, well over 70% of the GST collections and that the state is uh, due close to rupees 14,000 crore from the center. We do understand that the PJP is ruling at both the center and in the state. Is it just political or do you have other reasons to justify the change of stance now in the sense that you have chosen to go with option one? In spite of making 71% of our um, uh, uh, cash, uh, GST collections compared to last year. However, the gap is there for 13,000 and we have to make good for it. 
and we all know the situation and the whole GST council had deliberated on the situation what the government of India is into, what the states are into. Having known all this, uh, it is imperative that we should have money at this juncture to fight not only pandemic, to fight the economic crisis. Therefore, we have opted for the option one, which the government of India has given. Don't you think that it's a sort of a grey area? You know, if you recollect the discussion in the parliament when the GST uh, uh, bill was brought in, Jaitley said the council could perhaps look at market borrowings, but did not specifically say that the states need to borrow. I agree with you on that. But it all, he also did not say that it's up to the centre to borrow. So do you think it's this grey area that is causing all the uh, rift between the centre and the states in the event of a shortfall? Well, you look through the discussions on compensation starting from empowered committee meeting, meeting in Calcutta till that final meeting with the um, uh, JP giving the sessions. There is another meeting where Revenue Secretary makes a similar promise. So, this, see, this is a spirit in which the law was ushered in. States agreed to go in. And in federal relations, the public trust is very, very important. And that is being wantonly undermined. See, why do you need it? Has it any economic logic? Mr. Gossett, tell me, has it any economic logic? You are facing 24% by India government. IMF says 25.6% um, contraction in the economy. The worldwide it is average 12%. Now, what does economists teach? The government must spend more. Revive the economy, revive the demand. What is a state demanding? We are not saying that uh, allow us to expand our expenditure. Only thing that we are making, requesting is, please allow us to maintain in our expenditure. When my budget was prepared, I'm certain Rao's budget also, we factored in a 14% growth of GST. And now in COVID times, by denying that, you are aggravating the recession. So you are forcing us to produce the expenditure. Makes no sense. I don't know what is happening to them. Mr. Harish, how do you respond? To do you agree with Dr. Isaac's speech? I fully agree with Isaac. See, in the present situation, center should come forward. In, in uh, 7th and 8th and 10th GST Council meeting, the Honorable Chairman and the Revenue Secretary at the time, they categorically clearly said that they will borrow and they will give it to the states. They never said that states should borrow or uh, states should do this. So it was very clearly assured in 7th, 8th GST Council meeting, number one. Number two, if center borrows, the rate of interest will be less. Number, one. number two, no, number three, if states has to borrow, rate of interest will vary from state to state. Number four, what the center is saying, if center will borrow, uh, economy will go down. Or if states will borrow, economy will not go down. How can it be true? So both center and states will borrow from the same agencies, same mutual fund, same Reserve Bank of India, the same people will give loan. What the center argument is not correct. Number five, center has a more scope, even they can borrow from external agencies, where states cannot yes. borrow from other countries or other agencies. Center has the right to borrow. There is huge money is available outside where you can get at the rate of 0.5%, 1%. They can get a very cheaper price rate of interest and they can give it to the states. And number six, you should not think whether state to borrow or center to borrow, how to restrict the money. So from 2 lakh 35,000 crores, they are bringing it down to 97,000 crores. It is not the time to reduce. You should try as much as money pump into the market so that people will get confidence, people will start doing the expenditure, then slowly economy will increase. So already because of our revenues have come down, on, on par with that fighting for COVID, lot of revenues that we are spending on uh, hospitals and uh, others uh, for medical thing. So the money left with the states is very less. They have not given salaries for three months. They have to pay back to the employees now. And apart from that, if you do some capital expenditure and if we 
the commitments for the welfare schemes if we go on spend then only the state's economy will increase now they have to come forward it's technically morally legally they are completely responsible and they should come forward and on the on the technical issue mr harish and dr isaac uh, the view taken by the other side is that there is no provision whatsoever in the gst act to transfer funds to states from the consolidated fund how do you respond to that and that it can no. only give from the compensation fund i have already already responded what is written the law that if there is a surplus it should go into the consolidated fund of india that is the fact is not small amount the undistributed igst is more than 1 lakh crore rupees and that's in the public open the government of india so that's the way it functions how does the then the such fund function no but the center says uh, there is no provision in the gst act to transfer funds from the consolidated the no, uh, gst act says the yeah. gst yeah. council shall make recommendations yes so center and state should go make recommendation to the central government to do this that's what the process and that's what we are proposing that the center and state together the gst council should propose to the central government to borrow and provide money which will be liquidated within 3 years or 4 years time it's not a dead burden at all the center does not consider it important that just like all other economic entities in the economy states also must be supported not supported no endlessly but uh, as circumstances of reason a temporary temporary accommodation to them to fulfill the moral obligation to provide and legal obligation to provide gst uh, short form mr harish to take forward your suggestions you know what in your view uh, the center should do now to uh, you know pump in money uh, for projects for infrastructure to basically uh, revive the economy from whatever debt it has the guru say when the money is available more money is available in gst says and the unsettled igst money they have uh, merged into consolidated fund of india now when the money is to be given to the states center says we have no role and the money is available when you are taking when the money is required you should give it should be either way if it is available you will take if it is required you don't give it is not my responsibility how can you say number one number 2 that igst money telangana is supposed to get around 2700 crores we are we are asking in every meeting since last one and a half two years we are continuously asking you have merged into the consolidated fund of india please give it back it is rightfully the share of telangana you are not giving you are go on postponing go on postponing what, what is the center saying to uh, your request they appointed a committee they said that we will have a meeting we will uh, they finalize as quickly as possible the money is available money is merged into the government of india my fund and states rightfully money you are not giving in this crucial time 2700 crores is a big money for the states like telangana that is also you are not settling you are supposed to pay bi monthly you never pay in bi monthly you pay after 6 months 7 months 8 months truly speaking by act every 2 months by monthly you have to pay the gst cess in fact there are broader things to discuss they only concentrated to improve the cess but they never concentrated to strengthen the states see the 14% growth rate how to achieve so to achieve the 14% growth rate what needs to be done how the states has to be strengthened where the cess uh, has to be increased where the loopholes have to be plugged in they, uh, they they never concentrated that side they are only concentrated go on increase the cess initially cess was supposed only on few items but finally it was above 50 i think 56 uh, they go on increase the tax and the uh, items goods also they uh, added so there also we need to discuss of course now it is not the time it is the time how to um, pay the cess so my request is only now let us not limit it limit uh, to the 97000 crores now center should come forward they should borrow overseas or they should borrow wherever is possible let them give a whole 2 lakh 30000 crores to the states see it is not from the center skitty also it is not directly affecting the central skitty it is the money of the states which is going to be collected after march 2022 not only you are giving you are you are completely recovering including the interest 
from the state's cess only in fact uh, a state like telangana will be losing heavily for cess we have contributed more than 18032 crores so far the cess we have taken is only 3200 crores if you extend further the cess period to 5 years or 6 years the big loser is telangana only in the interest of the country in the interest of the nation we have agreed so the minimum cess is in the crucial time which we are going we are going to expect in this year that also you are not allowing or not giving to the states mr bommai uh, this is to you again finance ministers of uh, opposition rule states including your neighboring states of telangana and kerala have been repeatedly pointing out that it's the states that are at the forefront of the current battle both on the health front as well as in dealing with the economic downturn in such a situation how fair do you think it is for the center to ask states to borrow instead of providing all possible fiscal support to them to deal with the crisis yes in the normal circumstances uh, we expect a fiscal support uh, from the government of india not only in gst compensation even otherwise however uh, the situation what we are into it's very well known and we, everybody has to fight together it can't be treated in isolation and uh, it can't be uh, like uh, uh, that uh, uh, getting away from the responsibility therefore in the larger interest of the state where uh, the economy has to move on we have opted uh, for the option number 1 and uh, the borrowing doesn't have any effect on our physical situation because both interest and principles will be compensated by the cess collected not on the states it's very simple see i will i will slightly develop one of the issues that uh, rao um, mentioned say undistributed igst in 2018 the central government took it not only in the consolidated fund of india consolidated the revenue put it in the divisible pool of the central government and gave us 42 percent and uh, no nobody noticed it what happened then comes ag's report who says this stop the rock <laughs> this money 50 percent should have gone straight to the state and what 50 goes to send a 42 percent should have gone to state again so states have lost so now what do you do so it took two years to undo this and only last year for compensation a part of this money was used to compensate the state see these things go in a uh, give and take spirit of cooperation uh, why should i be saying very correct thing why should the telangana which in fact does not take much compensation they contribute a major share to the compensation why should they do that and these are all a general agreement that people of very different ideology approaches came together to have a common a consensus in the gst council unfortunately this entire uh, effort made so far is being undone the last gst council now though you said karnataka agrees and the position one if you have the minutes you read the minutes of presentation by everyone except assam and goa every one of the states said that center should compensate fully and center should borrow and make it available but this is exactly the point that mr bommai was also making you know it has, there has to be a spirit of give and take the point that mr arif said and you sort of reiterated you know and this is not the time to for a fight between center and state so where do you think uh, the problem lies i mean the bottom line is entire compensation has to be given now we can we would say the center should go that can be discussed but there is no question of us sacrificing any compensation it is no morally right is legally untenable and the economics is crazy thing to do so i this unacceptable totally bottom line is this no uh, sacrifice on the compensation 
But then the modalities of doing it, yes, we can discuss. Definitely, no opposition to this. We can discuss. But don't ask us. Uh, you give a part of your compensation. That's not possible. Mr. Harish, uh, is your position uh, as uh, strident as uh, Dr. Isaacs? That believe, there is no believe, question of uh, there is no question of compromising insofar as the compensation that is due to Telangana. I fully agree with uh, Isaac G. See, there is no question of compromise. Center has to pay the full compensation. There is no scope in the Act for differentiation between loss due to GST, loss due to COVID. So it is the total 40 at the rate of 14 percent growth rate. The loss has to be compensated. That act clearly speaks. Even the attorney general, in his opinion, also he did not uh, differentiate loss due to COVID, loss due to GST implementation. The even AG also clearly said center has to pay the full compensation. Then how to pay? Who has to take the loan? Of course, that he didn't clarify. Uh, properly, but he said the total money has to be given. Even the center is also saying they will give, but what they are saying in option one, now they will confine to 97,000 crores and the balance will be paid after 2022. So it is not the time, no? If the, this time the money comes into the market, your economy will improve. Job loss can be bring down and uh, see, it is already declared minus 23.9. If you adopt such principles, such options, it will go further down. In this time, centre should broadly, openly they should come out and they should support the states. One thing they, they have to mind, development of any state or any part of the country is the development of our India. You should not think that if a state gets benefit, if a part of the country gets benefit, it is something different. Anywhere, any look and corner of the uh, country development is our whole country's development. We should look at in that view. Keeping aside arguments from both sides, Mr. Bomai, opposition states feel that they are deceived, cheated, and what the center is proposing now amounts to actually sovereign default. The Union Finance Minister has blamed it as, on, as an act of God. Well, the states feel that it's an act of fraud. How do you respond to this? Opposing rule states terming Nirmala Sitaram's statement as an act of fraud is totally political and confrontist attitude. The, this will not give any solution to the present crisis. Therefore, I, do, I want to tell all the senior members of the GST Council that this is not the time to play politics. Secondly, that uh, the center and the states are together in GST Council. Most of the decisions are taken in conscious uh, decisions. And ultimately, the center has given options for the state. Uh, supposing any state feels that uh, they are uh, quite strong enough to uh, not to take any of these options, it is left to them. However, no state can afford that. I am, I am, I am aware of it. Therefore, the situation uh, has to be improved by pumping our money. It should be on the investment side and uh, Government of India has given us opportunity. So it's prudent to use that opportunity in a positive way and bring back the economy on rail in spite of pandemic. But Dr. Isaac, uh, the Union Finance Minister uh, blames it uh, on the act of God and uh, FMs of non-BJP states are saying it's an act of fraud. Where do you think uh, a, a common point can be grabbed it? <laughs> the India government has now the distinction of using this blessed principles, principle of force uh, and against Eastern states, constituent states. <laughs> Have you ever heard this being said anywhere in the world? This is not just done here. Now, I'm, I was taken aback at the way the discussion went because five hours, state after state, you know, they said the problems they're facing and so on, therefore compensation must be paid. Not, nothing in anger and so on. Everybody agreed. And some picking, some proposal, this, etc. Then, Normally in a meeting, you sum up 
the sense of the house. Okay, that's how UST Council goes. And this, no, totally disconnected with the discourse that is going on, suddenly you said uh, there are two propositions. You can choose between them, one or two. And nobody understood what exactly this proposition was um, because I also didn't know. Uh, I featured something <laughs> misunderstanding it totally. And then only later fully realized what the proposition is. And this has no connection with the discussion. Then least that could have been done is, okay, we are the proposition. Then we discuss that. Um, this is taking the states for granted, taking it for a ride, I thought. I was genuinely angry. Yeah, this is not uh, behavior that we are used to the DST calls. Do you think, uh, Mr. Harish, this will uh, impact the intergovernment fiscal relations? I mean, uh, some say that, you know, it's an affront to the federal structure of the country and, uh, you know, this is an indication what of... In the, what I said in the beginning, during the CST also, UPA government has given the same commitment they failed to deliver. Even NDA government, the present government in GST also, they are doing the same. So whether it is UPA or NDA, both governments are failed to do, uh, keep up their commitments. In, the, in this present situation, in future, states will be afraid to cooperate with the center in such other issues. It is not the uh, non-BJP non rule states or BJP rule states. Of course, BJP rule states may not be coming out openly, but their feelings are also same. They are also suffering. They are also expressing internally. So now, it, 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 the center should not see whether it is a BJP rule state's opinion or non-BJP rule state's opinion. It is every state's opinion. If you talk to them internally or one-on-one, -on -one, definitely they will express the same. So this is everybody's problem, whole country's problem, all the states' problem. So center should uh, come forward and they should pay the full compensation. Dr. Isaac, without uh, any further damage to the federal structure, how do you think uh, a consensus could be reached between the center and the states? Center should accept the right to the state for full compensation. Then, yes, we can sit down in a spiritual give and take to see how this should be done. I would even say then, for example, we can explore the possibilities of GST Council itself or a, or a empowered committee of ministers, which is still existing in NIT, it can borrow. Um, all this can be explored here. Yeah. I mean, though, I would say, is much more cleaner for central government to borrow. If you are too afraid of borrowing, that it will affect the fiscal deficit and so on, or industry, just monetize your debt here. Yeah? Even Rengaraja, who was instrumental in stopping this uh, monetization of debt in India, or traditional deficit financing, uh, putting market discipline on the government, even he is on record saying things, uh, situation has changed all over the world. The monetization that there, so we can do something wrong, and we are also doing it. So these options are there. But do you think the center has exhausted all its options? Because center has, as Mr. Harish pointed out, a lot more revenues compared to states. I mean, it gets a share in the profit of RBI, it can borrow abroad, it can disinvest in PSUs and a whole lot of other things. Do you no. think they have exhausted all these options? No, 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 no. The center has not exhausted. Their revenues also will shrink. But they should do what all emerging and developed, developed countries in the world are doing, you see. Not imitate the least developed countries in the world. They are in a different category. Their stimulus, they cannot stimulate their economy. They are really caught in a vicious circle now. But uh, we are an emerging economy, and we should make the options, as Rao said, are wide open for us. The 27% shortfall in the consumption demand when compared to the previous quarter, the last year, last year's uh, first quarter. Um, see, unless uh, people start buying commodities, 
investment is not going to pick up whatever you may do because they are going to judge they are going to look will the produce will be sold or not therefore it is very important central government boost the demand and where it can be done meaningfully is supporting the state we were very successful in the first phase of the spread to control and just as supposed because we front loaded all of our borrowing very dearly 9% interest rate because we front loaded all the borrowing and borrowed heavily and had a package of support and so on. now what to do half a million people have come from to kerala from outside and uh, we cannot control where they are going and so on because there are so many entry points to state and spread is taking place okay we want to ensure the spread is kept within our hospitable our hospital our, our hospital as a infrastructure yeah that's a, so that you know we want to do more testing and uh, more regulation etc ensure the reverse quarantine so that death rate is kept low even now it is uh, something 0.3% only want to keep it at that level the fatality rate the other point that finance ministers of opposition rule states are putting forth mr bomai is that the center has far more avenues compared to states when it comes to raising resources and they also feel that the center has not exhausted all these options and is just pushing the stick burden on to the states what is your take on this yes uh, center has got lot of avenues for mobilization of resources but however this unprecedented pandemic pan pandemic has really caused a great dent in the macro economy therefore the gdp has gone down below 21% and the and the center is also in crisis and that will be reflected with the rbi also secondly regarding disinvestment by the psu the market ecosystems are not good enough to give us a fair price there will be loss of price for the shares which are going to disinvestment there will be huge losses and to avoid that we should have a right opportunity to disinvestment and this is not the right opportunity and the the third thing is the more the borrowing by the center will devalue the rupee and hence uh, um, it will have its effect uh, on the macro economy as well as uh, the international rating will go down and the fdi and fdi which is depending on the international rating will also go down hence there is a spiral effect by uh, all these uh, uh, avenues which uh, we are trying to discuss here on the macro economy and this will have a reflection on the state economy also ultimately state has to bear the economic losses therefore it is prudent to have a caution by opting out a good option and that's what we are trying to explain and uh, probably all states will follow soon yeah i mean uh, to go back to what mr harish said i mean as far as ordinary people are concerned you know millions have lost jobs more people have suffered loss of income so what they are looking forward obviously from the government is to spend more kick start the economy somehow so that the lost jobs can be you know revived the income goes back to the pre covid levels but all this requires investment so if the center and states you know stick to the respective positions what is the way forward the i think starting point of working together is precisely the point you said spend more i'm not saying please allow me to spend more i'm saying please allow me to maintain my expenditure if you agree upon that that's a starting point how that money can be raised we can discuss again but if you say you have to reduce your expenditure that is not acceptable starting point i agree with you mr wasu what you said that should be the starting point how to raise the expenditure level or at least maintain the expenditure level that is agreed upon there can be a solution no problem what so yeah uh, do you think there is a disagreement between the center and states even on the question of uh, you know spending more to kick start the economy what you 
know, our chief minister in the starting days only, he told categorically in prime minister's video conference and he wrote an open letter to prime minister. Yes. Saying some helicopter money or some money needs to be brought into the market. Yes. Uh, developed nations uh, many times during the world wars and some after some incidents, they have adopted such principle. Now for India also, we need to do something like that. So, in spite of several requests from our Honorable Chief Minister and from our state, there is no response from the center. Apart from that, they are trying to cut down even in the GST compensation, which is not fair on their point. It is, it, 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 once again, I want to reiterate, now it is the, we should not see a fight between the center and state or a fight between the BJP rule states and non-BJP rule states. It is the time to unite because COVID, we are suffering. When it will go, how long it will be there, we don't know. And GDP has come down by minus 24 point, which, which is an alarming situation. This, this time, on the other side, there is a China issue. So we all should sit together and we should think broadly and uh, we should address the issue in a positive manner in the interest of the nation. When is the council likely to meet again, uh, Dr. Isaac? Um, 90 definitely. There may be a special VC just to discuss this problem before that. Yeah. Because all states will be sending in their responses. Or um, they may decide, the secretary may decide, that it will combine this discussion with the 90, the normal uh, meeting of the GST council. So definitely 19 council will be meeting. Maybe a meeting before that, I don't know about that. What is stopping the at least the non-BJP states from coming together? It's an economic issue after all. I mean, we can keep politics aside for a minute. I mean, See, for some time. Sir, I think you should take, for example, uh, the votes that is presented by. Uh, I don't know. Pardon me for my. Uh, uh, government. Uh, Kumar Modi ji was. Uh, uh, speaking very much sense, though I wouldn't agree with everything he said, but he, he agreed states have to be compensated full. Then, how do you do it at this present time? And need for searching. That's the spirit in which even all other states were speaking. But what are the options before you, Dr. Isaac? Supposing the center yeah, sticks. Sure. But I can say if they're afraid of. Uh, in fiscal, the optics of fiscal deficit going up for the country. Yeah. And see, Empowered Committee is a registered entity uh, which borrows temporarily only for this purpose. We can empower it. Or we can empower, that means a, perhaps a law, I don't know. Uh, empower the GST Council, GST Council borrows. Government stand, India stands there, uh, guarantee to it. Guarantee doesn't you have to go into the fiscal deficit. So government of India has a fiscal deficit is unchanged. Your optics is maintained. Okay. There are so many SPVs are borrowing in India and government providing a guarantee also. Provide them. I think, see, once you agree, the compensation has to be paid in full. Then we can sit down and talk out, talk out a way. Okay. Practically, by the solution. Stalemate has to be broken. But the states cannot compromise. No, that uh, compensation uh, will give up. Uh, that will not happen. Thank you, gentlemen, uh, Mr. Harish, uh, Mr. Bomai, and Dr. Isaac for participating in this conversation. Let us all hope that uh, whenever the GST Council meets next, the center in states will overcome the differences of opinion and find a consensus so that the country comes out of the current economic crisis sooner than later. Thank you very much once again.